Welcome back Autobots and the to a brand new video and today we're showing you Transformers Reactivate Optimus Prime. But before we begin don't forget to like and subscribe to our presentation so you never miss an upload. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. So with that all out of the way, let's begin. I'm not going to show off packaging because I already did it in my previous review, Reactivate Summit. Yeah, so no more speaker. So here it is. See? I have Optimus Prime in his truck mode, and he is a fantastic figure, right? This has to be one of, if not the best mainline Optimus Primes ever. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, take a close look at the details, because you have very nice eyes front, through the grill, some headlights. The bumper right here with the spikes. Side, nice silver, the gray, this Autobot insignia. Wheels, silver. Back, yeah, it has rocket boosters. Okay. Nice blue, with the silver. Yeah, underneath. Bulls, very good. Yeah. Just a very nice looking vehicle mode. Yeah, so now for accessories. Wise does come with his, his, his gun, his ion cannon. Black. Also does come with is an energon axe. Just kind of let it's kinda of let down because because of this. This part is open and I'll explain why in the robot mode. But yeah. Or for storage, just come here. And we just place them on the side. Truck. Oops, nope. I have them all on the wrong side. Axe goes over here. Gun, just plug in right there. Yeah, weapon storage. Yeah, just one of those. Yeah, so. Uh, for my shit to talk about, so now let's get down to size persons. So, here he is. There's actually my previous review. They reactivate sound wave. See how those two look together. Here's the deactivate line. There he is next to MP10. Oh, the masterpiece Optimus Prime deals. There he is next to the Studio Series Rise of the Beasts Optimus Prime. And last but not least, just because here he is next to Series Series Dino. Those two look together. Yeah. So, so that's pretty much it. All to talk about. Let's do come so Now let's get down to transformation. So, first thing you want to do is come here to the roof section and just tab this. Helps if you just pull on one side to expose the tab. Like that. And go and just want to bring up roof section like so. Camera a little bit. Now, next thing we want to do, come here to the front section and just bring it down while bring the bar down while. Bring up this section, rest like so. I like this. So then, what you want to do is come in here and you want to bring out the arms, want to untab, untab the slot connection. Oh, then you just want to wiggle everything out. And 
So bring this arm out. Like so. Then you just want to leave it out like that for now. Same. Tab. Oh, and this. Wiggle. Arm outwards. Come on. Alright, then just to help, just bring up the arm side for that. Now, what you want to do next is come here, bottom piece, untap chest, then you want to come here, split the grill, rotate it. Oh, wait, no, before you want to do that, so I'm going to step you want to come here, untap the panels. Then, they want, then you can this, rotate it up. So then, for the camera real quick. All right. So just rotate this up. Then take this, bring it down. The same. Rotate it up, bring it down. Then what you want to do next? Take these gray panels, put them in. Then you can just bring all of this forward like so. Then just come here, flip. Uh, inwards, then just want to bring all this down. Like so, then want to push this down as far as squeeze that down. Then want to take this panel, bring it up, and this just tab in twice. And then come up here, bring up his head. I will just plug into place, and we'll work on the arms later. Now, what we want to do is bring this out, bring it up, like so, get them on our way. Now we can work on the legs, the legs, split the legs, mm -hmm. underneath here, flip out, it's a great panel, flip out, it's a great piece right here, take the foot, bring it out, then you just come here, rotate this whole, whole leg somewhere around, plugs in, bring this great panel back down until it tabs into place. And then I want to bring up the foot. They have a leg, all done. Do the same on the opposite side. Bring out that panel. Bring out the Take out the foot. From here, rotate it. Just in place. Bear panel back. Tap it in. And pull the foot. And there I have the legs. All done. Now we'll actually work on the backpack the back real quick. So here what you want to do is come in here, flip up this panel, and flip up that panel. Then what you want to do is just bring it up like this. Take these gray panels, rotate them all the way in, and they'll just have a tab slot connection right there. Same. Tap that up. Then you can bring up the backpack and just tap it in. It's not really the best secure, but yeah. Then for the arms, just wanna bring them down, then rotate the arms. Then you just wanna flip up this panel like that, then this will just go, and that will tap in. Have an arm all done, the same. Then rotate, bring that panel in, and bring up this panel so that tabs in. Then there you have Reactivate Optimus Prime. In his row, bot camera mode. All right, so let's take a close look at the details. Go ahead and see a very nice head sculpt. Quite hard to tell on camera, but he does have blue eyes. Ooh. Gray for the map for the battle mask. The details, nice silver chest, so nice silver, these pieces, the red, it's very nice, in the back, it's 
to the boosters, please. Yeah. It's a uh, very nice looking. And I'm pretty sure this has to be like like the like only mainline slash the only only Transformers figure that I know of that has no hollow places at all. Like everything is all filled in. I mean of course maybe besides that. But besides that, like there's really no hollow places at all, which is awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, so now for our glitch lines, his head is on a ball joint. Can look up that far, can go down that far, can do a full 360. Does have side to side so arms. It can can go all the way around. Can go out. Can rotate. Do have 90 degrees bend. Can can rotate. Does have a waist swivel. His legs can move up that far. They can go back. Maybe that far because bumps in here. It can go out that far. Does have rotation. He has a little bit more than 90 degrees bend at the knee. His feet does have a very good ankle pivot. Yeah, the push wise, it's good. A really great articulation. Yeah. So for accessories wise, it's done. Just plug right onto his hand. The access is where I mostly have have a problem with because it's supposed to tap into his hand and rotate it, but as you can see, it does have a hole. It doesn't really fill in all the way and it exposes his hand. Yeah, so that's my kind of major problem with this figure is that. But it also does have one more accessory in his chest. Open it up. And he does have the matrix of leadership, which can be removed as well. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's see. Nice matrix. The leadership and this plugs right back in there. Close up the chest. And yeah. Yeah. So now for some size questions. Here he is. Here is next to my previous view. The reactivate sound wave. There he is next to you. MP10. There he is next to Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beasts. See his series version. And last one. And last but not least, here he is next to Sue Series Dino. Yeah. And like I did with Soundwave, if on the right side of the screen, there's an image of the Reactivate Optimus Prime. So you can see how they look. Accurate, they are. Yeah, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. All to talk about. So now let's get back down to transformation. First thing I want to do. So I'll see. Move weapons and place them off to the side. All right. So take the hand back. So first thing I want to do is to get to the backpack. Here, tab it, bring it down. Here, and place on top. Panels, rotate them out all the way. So, same, tab, and rotate them out. 
bring out red piece, a roof, we'll pop that. Have it all like this. And we can just leave that off to the side. So now what you want so now we can work on the legs. So for legs, what you want to do do is to come back here and wanna bring out his feet like this using the ankle pivot in here and tab and bring out this gray panel. Then you want to untab the whole entire leg. Rotate it all the way around. So then what you want to do is you want to flip in that gray piece, flip around the gray panel, tab it back in, take the foot, bring it out. Like that. Do the same on the opposite side. So I create the ankle pivot, bring out that panel, untab, rotate the leg all the way around, and bring out this panel, bring out, tab that panel back in place, and bring up the foot. Then you take the ha two halves and tab them together. Don't know what I was saying right there. <clears throat> Okay, now what you want to do is come here, tab, panel, bring it down. Then you can just come up here, bring out this piece, I want to bring out this whole entire chest panel, and flip up that. And you come in here, flip out these gray pieces, have it like this. Then what you want to do is here. The head, untab it, to untab it, flip it all the way down. So, then you can just take the arms, bring them up, get them out of the way. Then, that what you want to do here is you want to bring this whole thing back while bringing this. So, till. have everything like this. Then that what you want to do next is to bring out these bring out the bumper and you can flip down the whole entire wheel. Assembly, same thing. Bumper, rotate the wheel around and you take the two halves, plug them together. Then you come in here and let's flip this all the way up. Yeah. Let me start bringing down the camera. Oops, right, too far down. Okay, and now we have like this. What you want to do is to rotate the arm all the way around. So, come underneath here. Just un tab that panel. Then you can start unfolding like so. Then you just start bringing it up around. Have it like this. The same. On tab and flip out this whole panel. Rotate it and bring it down. Have it like this. Then for that, what you want to do next is to bring down these gray panels. It's going to tab slot connection right here. Same. Down, tab slot connection right there. Like so. Then what you want to do is to rotate arm like this. And I oh don't no, sorry. Wanna bring it in, then bring it down. But you don't want to rotate. This is where it can get a little bit tricky because you want to want to bring it in like uh, either traditional Optimus Prime but you also want to bring this up and in as well so it can take a bit but yeah there you go and you want to make sure that smoke text is behind this panel so here and this will just tab Right here. Do the same on the opposite side. So down and just whole arm 
side so that taps in have it like so then I want you to just bring down this whole front assembly so like that this will just tab right in here up till that's locked in place then bring this down for that tabs right in there in in that tabs in and there you have reactive at Optimus Prime back in the truck mode all right so final thoughts on reactive at Optimus Prime a fantastic figure. I do very, very much enjoy him. And out of the two pack with him and Soundwave, he Optimus Prime is is the strong is definitely the strongest one. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to transform and roll out.